a happy 2024 to you. The Lord's faithfulness chose at this time. We make it to yet another brand new year, a year in which we can heal, a year in which we can love, and a year in which we can grow. And I am so excited that we get another year to do this together. I was thinking a lot about what was the biggest lesson I learned in 2023, and honestly, it's the value of life. I experienced quite a bit of loss last year, and the biggest theme for me was every day counts, every day matters, and every day is a celebration. But the beginning of a new year is always a time of renewal for a lot of people. It's a time of new chances, second chances, and for some it's for continuity for where we have been and the things we set out to do. But the thing about beginnings I find is that when we're starting over, when we are building again, we should always seek first the kingdom of God. And this word has been on my heart for a month now since December. And January is a month in which I not recalibrate and maybe recalibrate is the word actually when you think about where you have been in the last year and where you want to take the new year so whether we are calibrating or recalibrating seeking first the kingdom of god is always a good thing so january usually i won't have any big deep content it's always about going back to the drawing board and it's not to set goals because if we're setting them now we're already late but better late than never like they say and uh, for me january is a lot about surrender lord this is what i've thought about this is what we've been praying about and this is where we want to go and it's, it's about surrender it's about just going back to him and saying these are the plans but but you have the last say so the calibration, the recalibration is just about going back to God and saying, did I hear you right? This is where we're going. So this year, I thought I would extend the process of how I do my January to you. And, and you, can, you can come along on the journey with me. So I dedicate the 21 days to prayer, to seeking God. And we have different themes. My family and I do this. We take the 21 days starting 3rd January, weekends included. And, and we just pray and we just seek. So this year I thought, hey, why not just carry on the rest of the other family, my online community, why do you not come with me? It's completely free. It's not mandatory. You don't have to do it. But just in case you were needing community in which you just wanted to go back to center, you just wanted to seek God about the year, you were not rushing into the year and you just, you are, if you are the person who is saying, Lord, I want to hear you for this year, Lord, I want to be in alignment with you for this year, this might be a good opportunity for you to join our community when when doing this so we start third january we're calling it sick first i didn't want to call it a challenge because honestly it's not a challenge we're just going back to god and rebuilding in the places that were broken in the mistakes that we made in the times when we lacked obedience and now we're just saying lord i want to hear more of you and i want to realign with you this is what we're doing so it's simple you just join the whatsapp group and we will have four things the first one is healing uh, we're starting a new year but we are coming out of battle it's been a long year there's been financial stress there's been emotional stress there's been brokenness and we're just saying lord wherever it is that I am wounded. I'm just inviting you to come and place your balm of love, to come and heal me. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. That's what we're doing in the first week. In the second week, we are looking at our relationships. Relationships play such a key role in our lives. In the second week, a lot of people will be going back to work. So we're looking at our work relationships. We're looking at our familial relationships, looking at our friendships. We're looking at our acquaintanceships, but also our relationship with God. Draw closer to me. How can I be more of myself in this year? Is this year the year? of your calm or is this year the year of your excitement whatever that is you're going to do it in the safety and boundaries of community and relationships we are asking god lord who is coming along with me this year who am i leaving behind this year who am i allowing into my space this year and for 
clarity and protection and for guidance so week two we look at relationships week three we look at fruitfulness because it's 21 days so it's three weeks we will look at fruitfulness and we're looking at lord there's people who don't know their own gifts lord what are my gifts how can i thrive how can my gift make room for me for the sake of the kingdom for your name's sake how do we move the kingdom forward and so those are the three so i will share um what you call this i will share scripture cards per week per theme we will have a memory verse Per week that will carry us for healing for relationships for fruitfulness as we seek first the kingdom of God